What's up guys? Today I'm going to try and sight in the new scope I just got for my Savage 338 Lapua Magnum. And the scope that I went with was this Diamondback Tactical 4 to 16 by 44. Seems like a really awesome scope, but I have yet to try it. And this was actually the first time I mounted a scope myself. So I'm a little worried I didn't do it 100% perfectly. But let's put a few rounds through her and see if I can get this scope on target. And to try and sight in this scope, I'm going to be using these SMB 250 grain hollow point boat tails. These were pretty much the cheapest factory loaded 338s you can get. And they're still about $3 a shot. So incredibly expensive. These are some massive rounds though. Let me show you a close up real quick. So right here we have a 223, a 308, and a 338 Lapua Magnum side by side. So clearly the 338 is a pretty massive cartridge. They say the 338 Lapua bridges the gap between the 308 and the 50 BMG. And this 338 is going to be the most powerful round I've ever fired. And me being a resident of California, it's illegal to own 50 BMGs for some reason. So this might be the most powerful cartridge I ever fire, or at least for a really long time. Alright, so we're just going to shoot a few rounds out to 100 yards and see where the point of impact is. Alright, it looks like we hit really low and just a little to the right. Alright, I made a quick adjustment. Let's send another one. We had decent elevation, but still a little bit to the right. Looks like we hit a little high that time. Try that again. Just a tiny bit high and just a tiny bit right still. Alright, let's see if we're on target now. That one went way high and a little bit to the left. I don't know what's going on. Try one more. Alright, well I'm actually out of ammo now, so I'm going to have to call it quits here. So it's been probably about a week actually. But I got another box of the same SMB 250 grain hollow point boat tails. Let's finish sighting that scope in. Man, I love this thing. Looks like we hit just about dead center, maybe about a half inch to the right and half inch low or so. Send one more and see where she goes. That one actually went a little bit higher and we're still a smidge to the right.
So I figured out a problem. My scope was actually moving back from the recoil. I guess I didn't have it tight enough or something. Which ended up scratching the heck out of my scope. So I pretty much wasted those first 11 shots and I scratched my scope. But now I got it a lot tighter. Let's hope we can actually get it sighted in now. Still going to the right. Only got two rounds left, let's make them count. Alright, I'm out of ammo. We're sighted in good enough, I'd say. Not exactly 100%, but I'm going to call it quits there. This is actually my first ever time mounting a scope myself, so had a little bit of difficulty. Unfortunately, I had to use the most expensive type of rounds there is, pretty much, so went through nearly $50 worth of ammo and scratched up my scope, and we're still not completely zeroed, but we're pretty close. Anyways, that's all for now. I'll be making lots more videos with this rifle soon. So until next time, thanks for watching.